We are gonna continue with the Rolling Stone list from last week. I did the, um, you know, number 500 through 401 from the greatest songs of all time. It was a horrible list. I mean, come on, let's be really honest with each other. We had fucking Jay-Z and Rihanna on there and uh, more fucking shit. Uh, you know, Nirvana was on there, so that was great. Guns N' Roses was alright, I guess. Uh, everything from the debut home, of course. Such a burnout band, fucking Guns N' Roses, but um, yeah, a lot of Rolling Stone was on there, Bob Dylan, so um, yeah, that wasn't really good, so we're gonna see if this is better, you know, if uh, if these picks are actually really good. And Metallica was on there as well, so I really enjoyed that, but it was their Normie song, Enter Sandman, so not the big, <coughs> excuse me, not the biggest fan of that, but we're still gonna see if they're making the list again, probably not, but there we are. Because Rolling Stone apparently hates metal. Well, they have made a list about it, but that is only to capitalize on, you know, the genre. So, yeah, that, that is just only saying how fucking shitty Rolling Stone truly is. Number 400 is um, Baby, I Need Your Loving by The Four Tops. Uh, yeah, by the way, I'm gonna name the song. If I love it, I'm gonna talk about it. About it. If I hate it, I'm gonna talk about it. If, if it's just in the middle for me, for me, like The Four Tops, Baby, I Need Your Loving. Then I'm just gonna say the number, the name, I'm gonna move on because otherwise this video is gonna go on forever. Uh, 399 is just my imagination by The Temptations. Uh, I do love The Temptations though, a great classic uh, uh, folk group, jazz group, something like that. Uh, 398 is Roxanne, you don't know, with the, the, the red light, something like that. I have, haven't listened to The Police in a while. Uh, Roxanne by The Police, of course, classic band, classic song. Three, uh, 397 is Tiny Danza, uh, Tony Danza, yeah, yeah, right. Uh, Tiny Dancer by Elton John. Uh, classic song, classic artist again. And I got a load more shit. Oh, guys, you know, I, I don't have all day. Well, actually, I have, but... Um, I Yeah, I just want to hurry this a bit because I don't want to sit there all day. Uh, 396 is more rap shit with Eric B and Rakim. No, you got Saul. I mean, come on, fuck off, man, with your rap. Put some more metal on the list and less rap. I mean, come on now. Number 395 is uh, Ohio by Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young. 394 is another Beatles song with Ticket to Ride. Uh, yeah, by the Beatles, like I said. Um, yeah, classic, <coughs> classic tune. It is from um, for, from their Help record, not my favorite, but it was you know the last record where they were really poppy and got into a more psychedelic groove. So you gotta love that. Three hundred and ninety-three is uh, Whipping Pose by the Elman Brothers Band. Number 392 is, you know, the one hit wonder, Bittersweet Symphony by The Verve, basically just one really big hit that they ripped off from uh, from the Rolling Stones orchestra, something like that. Uh, yeah, they basically ripped it off from Rolling Stone, uh, the Rolling Stones one last time. It is basically that song, so there we are. Uh, I, I do prefer this version, but you know, it is lazy and you know, the frontman is really, really greedy. Um, he only wants the money, you know, and he doesn't care about his bands, about his fans. You can you can clearly see it. If you cannot see that, you're fucking blind, man. You, uh, you're blinded by nostalgia, by The Verve. Uh, actually, I don't hate The Verve. I, I actually think they are really, uh, well, not really good, but they are, they are a decent... Um, they are a decent Britpop band. I'm, I'm just not the biggest fan of them. Um, yeah, I, I do think, you know, they're, they are an alright band, but still, you know, you still have bands like uh, Blur and Oasis that fucking uh, blow the verve out of the water. 391 is Tell It Like uh, like It Is by Aaron Neville. Neville. 390 is uh, yeah, Goodbye Yellow Brick Road by, again, Elton John. Yeah, uh, you got a lot of Elton John, you got a lot of the entire record, you know, self titled is great, but you have just so many classic songs on that uh, classic album. 389 is Re uh, Radio Free Europe by R.E.M. Fucking hate R.E.M. Uh, yeah, I don't want to see them on the list again because I fucking hate this band, man. 
388 is uh, pride in the name of Long by U2 when they were still, you know, in my opinion, a, a really solid band. Never was the biggest fan of them, but still, you know, I really dig this song from the Unforgettable Fire record. Um, arguably the best record. Uh, check it out, it is a great song. Um, definitely one of the highlights and yeah, it deserves to be on the list, I would say. 387 is Hit the Road Jack by Ray Charles. 386 is Mad by Yeah, <coughs> Greatest name ever. Number 385 is Fake Plastic Trees by Radiohead. Uh, you gotta enjoy Radiohead. Um, yeah, they, they are of course, you know, a great band. Um, yeah, I, I do think, you know, that Fake Plastic Trees, although um, I, I do love the song, I've heard it too many times, they have way better songs. From uh, In Ray Bows, you know, uh, Kid A, uh, OK Computer. Actually, from this record as well, the bands, you know, Spirit of Fade Out, you know, uh, High and Dry, uh, My Iron uh, My Iron Lung, you have great songs on that as well, so check it out. Number 384 is actually a really surprising tune to see this low on the list. Another Brick in the Wall Part 2 by Pink Floyd. I actually thought this was going to be like top 10 material, but this is, you know, only on, um, on 384, so that is really surprising to see. Uh, you got a lot of The Wall, you got a lot of Pink Floyd, uh, Roger Waters, you know, the writer of this, it is a great track. Uh, definitely, you know, the normie song for Pink Floyd listeners, but I still did think, you know, it, it is a great tune. I do enjoy it, but it is just, you know, too overblown to really, uh, to really enjoy it, you know. Just heard it too many times. Yeah, I, I do understand why I didn't do this for fucking two months. This is fucking draining me, man. Gotta name one, uh, one, 100 titles in, you know, uh, half an hour. <laughs> the, uh, it doesn't sound difficult, but it actually kind of is, you know, to uh, constantly keep talking in that half hour. Fucking hell, and to give, uh, and to give commentary on it as well, so... Um, yeah, I, I will say this to you, you know, if you think it's easy, try it yourself. Actually, it's kind of tiring. Um, 383 is Brown Eyed Handsome Man by Chuck Berry. 382 is Wonderful World by Sam Cooke. 381 is uh, Mark v, Marky Moon by Television. 380 is I Can't Explain by The Who, uh, you know, from their, um, I believe from their debut records. My generation, so you got a lot of that. Um, yeah, I I do prefer you know the title track. Everybody prefers that, but I can explain as a classic tune as well. Love the hood, love the entire band. Um, yeah, and their debut album, it's great. Not the greatest, but still you know it's way up there. Three hundred and seventy nine is the Win the Winds Cries Mary by Jimi Hendrix Experience. Arguably their um, the greatest guitars of all time. Uh, I can't remember this song though. I, I haven't listened to a lot of Hendrix, but uh, yeah, yeah, I want to pick it up definitely because I do enjoy some Jimi Hendrix for sure. Three hundred and seventy eight is I'm a Madman by Bo, Bo Diddley. Three hundred and seventy seven is Personal Jesus by Depeche Mode. 376 is White Room by Cream. That sounds really wrong with, you know, that, that band name, Cream. Yeah, I, I'm gonna leave that with your imagination. Enjoy. Fucking hell, man. Uh, 375 is How Deep Is Your Law by uh, Bee Gees. Uh, 374 is Unchained Melody by The Righteous Brother. 373 is Highway 61 Re Revisited by Bob Dylan. Uh, actually, a song as well. I I actually didn't know that. I thought that you know it was a record, but uh, well, it is. But it is the title track as well. So there we are. Uh, can't really comment on it because I don't listen to a lot of Bob Dylan. But still, you know what is requested on the channel. Uh, I did really love. So there we are. Really think it is great. Three hundred and seventy-two is the letter from the box tops. Three hundred and seventy-one is complete control by the Clash. I believe a compilation album. Probably, because The Clash have so little albums, luckily, because I fucking hate them. 370 is All You Need Is Love is from The Beatles again, from Magical Mystery Tour. Well, I believe I discussed it in the in the last video. 
But I do enjoy this song as well. Uh, you know, it is another one from the Magical Mystery Tour, like I just said. Uh, great records, really underrated, I think. And definitely one of their best, really enjoy it. Number 369 is Killing Me Softly with a song by R Roberta Fleck. Number tr uh, 368 is Got My Mojo Working by Muddy Waters. 367 is Nowhere to Run by Marta and the Vendellas. 366 is Little Wing by the Jimi Hendrix Experience. Another song from him. I believe from... Um, I got, you know, I got to say Electric Ladyland. I believe it is from that. They don't fucking credit it. Nice. Um, yeah, it is from 68. So I do believe, you know, it is from... Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm going to say... Yeah... I'm, I'm gonna say uh, Electric Lady then because I believe this, um, something, no, 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 uh, Are Your Experience and Access Borders Love were, were, were released in 67, you know, in the same year. So I believe, you know, it, it is from 68 because those two records were from 67, but uh, both. So there we are. Number 365, Sweet Dreams Are Made Of This by uh, Eurythmics. Not a big fan of them, really, really pretentious band. Uh, it's still one of the best 80s bands, uh, so that is still saying, you know, how shitty the 80s really were, at least for mainstream music. Metal was great back then, you know, uh, Priest and Maiden, Metallica. Early Metallica, Megadeth, you know, classic bands, love them, uh, Motorhead. Oh, fucking tired, man. Um, yeah, guys, if you want to know something about me, I posted memes to uh, one of my friends who was, you know, uh, deep in sleep. You know, he, 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 he was sleeping very deeply, that is what I meant. And I was sending, you know, memes to him, like fucking 40 of them, like uh, 5 a.m., so. <laughs> and it is now 5 p.m., uh, well, 4 p.m., so. You gotta love that. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm I'm just basically wasting my life, man. But that's what that's why I'm doing this, right? But I do enjoy it. But so there we are. What the what the hell am I, what the hell am I on about? You guys want to see this? Not me talking about my personal boring life. Three hundred and sixty-four is Ben Bad Moon Rising by Creedence Clearwater Revival. Three hundred and sixty-three is. Watching the Detectives by Elvis Costello. 362 uh, two is Tears in Heaven by Eric Clapton. And I had a discussion the other day with, uh, I believe, Bobby Schmurda. Schmurda? Um, yeah, actually a bit of a Russian accent by me right there. Schmurda. Uh, Schmurdu, Schmurda, whatever. Schmurdo. Bobby something. Um, and he actually said to me, you know, that Eric Clapton is a really groundbreaking musician and you know when he said that i really you know uh, laughed because uh, we all know that it's bullshit well he was a revolutionary figure I, I i i said that to him you know that he is a revolutionary figure in music but you know his tone is over simplistic he uh he, he can be a great songwriter you know he, he can make great records he has made uh, he has made lila i believe you know not the most familiar with him, but you know, what I've heard from him, it is really simplistic and Tears and Heaven is just basically... He basically just shot himself on the foot right there. Um, you know, if, if somebody uh, close to me would die... Uh, personally, I, I wouldn't write a song about it, but Eric Clapton did that. You know, his little uh, son died, uh, passed away and he fell out of a window or something. Um, and he wrote an entire song with that. And, uh, you basically just just shoot yourself in the foot with that. What I mean with that is that you know people people are gonna request that song because they do love the song. Tears in Heaven is, in my opinion, a great track. I do love the track. But you know you basically just shoot yourself in the foot right there because people love that song. People want to hear that. People think it's one of your greatest songs, and you don't want to sing about it because. It reminds you of, you know, your little son that has passed away. I mean, can't you think this through, Eric Clapton? 
yeah, um, I'm not gonna say you know he, he wants to make a uh, a profit out of this because you know he's fucking rich and that is a bit uh, low by me to say that. So uh, yeah, I do apologize for that, but you know, uh, just air claps and just you know think straight. Don't write a song about it, you know. It is really personal by you, so probably just take a break or whatever and then move on with your music career. Don't write a fucking song about it that people are gonna request. But hey, that is just me. I'm just. I, I personally just think that isn't the uh, smartest thing by Eric Clapton to do, but we're gonna move on because uh, I've talked about the song for not like not two minutes. And you know. Um, if we're gonna talk about every song two minutes long, then we're sitting here for like 300, 300 minutes, like five hours is that. That is five hours, holy shit, so we're not gonna do that. Uh, All Shook Up by Elvis Presley, <coughs> another Elvis tune. Uh, 360 uh, 60 is The Great Pretender by The Platters. 359 is a Locomotion by uh, Little Eva. 358 Spanish Harlem and I'm gonna uh, I have to do three fucking more of these man oh great 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 uh, Benny King by uh, Benny Benny Ben E King by Spanish Harlem no th that is wrong Spanish Harlem by Benny King there we go 358 uh, 357 is Dead Lady Part One and Two by the Arley Brothers. Uh, 356 is Scandal in the Wind by El Elson John. Uh, yeah, you gotta enjoy this classic tune by him. Um, you know, again, it is a classic. I, I, just, I keep repeating myself, but it really is, you know, just all classic stuff on there. I uh, really love Elson John. Uh, I believe this, is, this isn't from his uh, Yellow Brick Road. That is hard to believe, but it really isn't. So there we are. Number 355 is... California Law by Dr. Dre and Tupac. Um, yeah. I'm not a fan of hip hop, so fuck off with these hip hop picks, man. <sighs> Fucking hell, just fuck off with hip hop, man. Uh, 350. Yeah, I'm not gonna even give my opinion about them because I'm just gonna say, you know. I, yeah, I actually believe this is one of the first songs that has auto tune on it, so. F fuck off, man. Fuck off. Fucking uh, out of tune and rap, man. Fuck off. Number 354 is La Bamba by Richie Valens. Number 353 is uh, Peace of My Heart by Big Brother and The Holding Company. 352 is Jim Dandy by Levin Bagern. Levin Baker, there we go. 351 is Runaround Sue by Dean. 350 is The Harder They Come by uh, Jimmy Cliff. 349 is Bob O'Reilly by The Who. I, I mean, really, their best song. Uh, well, arguably one of their best songs. But one of their best songs, one of the most classic rock songs of all time, which I truly think is one of the greatest rock songs of all time, is 349 on your fucking list. And, and probably, you know, a fucking hip hop, hip -hop song is gonna be above this. No, I wrote a song, go fuck yourself, man. 349, seriously. One of the greatest Who songs of all time, but one of the greatest rock, rock bands ever is this low on the list. You gotta be kidding me. Uh, so yeah, this is basically the one song. This is actually the first song. Uh, the song is so great that, that I'm gonna compare every song that uh, is gonna be after this, you know, to this song. So there we go. Uh, 348 is uh, You Keep Me Hanging On by The Supremes. Um, yeah, you know, the. Yeah. I actually don't really care, so uh, we're just gonna move along. Um, maybe I'm amazed by Paul McCartney, you know, from a solo career. Yeah, um, it is good, but I'm actually not gonna say Bob O'Reilly, but it is not as good, you know, as his uh, Beatles career. That is just flawless right there. Uh, 346, well, walk, this way, walk This Way by Aerosmith. Baba O'Reilly fucking rapes Aerosmith. Their entire discography, not even this song, but their entire discography. Baba O'Reilly fucking rapes Aerosmith. It's not even funny. 
345, yeah, that is actually the first time that I talked about rape, I believe, in my videos, but you know, the song really does that. Yeah, to have Aerosmith uh, even on air is a joke. It really is. Uh, 345 is Beautiful Day by U2. Yeah, you know, um, I'm slowly starting to hate U2 because I really hate the 21st century output. You know, this record is really predictable. Um, it is great in my opinion, although it is predictable. But it has some great songs from it. On it, you know, this song, Beautiful Day, <laughs> same song. This song, Elevation, um, move, move On or something like that. Move on, move on. <laughs> something like that. Uh, uh, no, 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 that is Walk On. Uh, you know, great song like that. So I, I, I do enjoy the song, but it's, uh, I do enjoy the entire record. But it really shows, you know, that they were going to be a really predictable band, so that is only, you know, uh, yeah, just really shitty. But still a great record, I think. Still a great song, so you gotta enjoy that. But it's not better than Bob O'Reilly. Uh, a lot more, fuck. And now nine more, nine more minutes left for... Oh, 44 songs in nine, nine minutes, there we go. Uh, Beat It by Michael Jackson, seriously. Yeah, this is actually... Yeah, no, it's not better than Bob O'Reilly, but you know, still, you know, one of the greatest rock slash pop songs of all time is uh, this low on the list. Go fuck yourself, Rolling Stone. But we're still gonna compare it to Bob O'Reilly, you know, and the song is better, so there we are. Wild Horse by the Rolling Stones. It, it is a great track, but Bob O'Reilly is better. Uh, 342 Sweet Jam by the Velvet Underground. Yeah, I actually really do enjoy uh, Loaded by The Velvet Underground, really overshadowed by the uh, self-titled and Nico record. Um, do really love Loaded, really love Sweet Jane, but Bob O'Reilly is better. 341 Spirit in the Sky by Norman Gr uh, Greenbaum. Um, yeah, I don't even know, so Bob O'Reilly is spirit to that. This, that's a great logic right there. Um, 340 Subterranean Homesick Blues by Bob Dylan, good song, but not better than Bob O'Reilly. Number 339 is I Can't Make You Love Me, Bonnie, uh, Bonnie Raitt. Good, uh, well, I don't even know, so there we are. <laughs> so Bob O'Reilly is immediately better. 338 is one of the most overrated songs of all time. We will rock, not even We Are The Champions, but We Will Rock You Alone. Two minute fucking song where the only thing uh, is this. That is the entire song and that is on the list. <sighs> yeah, um, I'm, I'm really getting tired of Rolling Stone, you know. Um, it is one of the most, it's not a horrible song, but it is one of the most simplistic, you know, pointless songs ever because they're basically, you know, just repeating the, the the title track over and over again and just stomping with their feet with one little solo towards the end. It's not even a song. And you put it on the greatest songs list. Rolling Stone, fucking die man. This is probably the fifth time that I've, that I've said that, but there we are. But they really need to go die man. They are a horrible uh, magazine. Um, yeah, and Bob O'Reilly fucking rapes this song as well. Not the entire Queen discography, but because Queen is a great band. Unlike Aerosmith, but uh, you know, uh, yeah, just We Will Rock You. One of my least favorite Queen songs of all time, because it is loved by so many people when it is not even a song, you know. It really isn't. It is just, you know... It is just that, even a fucking brain that rat can remember this. I mean, come on, yeah, um, that is probably why every normie loves that song, because everybody, because everybody can remember it, because it is that fucking easy, but I mean, come on, it's not even a song, man, fuck off. Six more minutes to go, 30, 37 songs, I've got all of that. Uh, Way of the World by Earth, Wind and Fire, fucking hell. Uh, 336 is the end by the doors. Wow, this is a great song. Uh, it is probably tied with Bob O'Reilly. Really do love the doors and the end song. So I'm uh, gonna compare this song to every other pick uh, that is gonna continue. 
Uh, Jerry, uh, 335 is um, the impressions for your precious love by Jerry Butler. Any impressions? Well, uh, for your precious love, Jerry Butler and impressions, there we go. 334 is uh, Get Up, I Feel Like Being a Sex Machine by James Brown, really cringy song. Uh, you do know the song, I mean, come on. You've heard it in the ads, you know, really funny ads when ads used to be funny, now they're really piss poor and annoying. Well, they always were, you know, but you know, some, some are really funny. Uh, which appear on the show, yeah, it, it is really funny, you know, you have one show where they have, you know, funny ads. As a fucking show, that, that is really, really ironic, isn't it? That is really funny, and after that you get commercials, this is fucking hilarious. People just watch commercials, commercials, and you fucking pay money for that, man. God love. Yeah, you know, some somebody is gonna explain to me, yeah, but that is, you know, buying your, your, your fees or something like that. I don't have any knowledge for that, call me a brain that moron, but uh, yeah, you know, I don't really uh, get into that, I really don't understand that, uh, that, that thing. But still, it is really weir weird to, uh, you know, to watch TV, uh, to get a lot of ads and still fucking buy $30 every month or even more. That is just ridiculous for me. Yeah, people can say, yeah, but you, uh, you, 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 have, you get this in return and this and people pay uh, or the government pays this for you with the money. I know, guys, but it is ridiculous on paper. Just, just follow through, man. Just follow through. You understand, you understand what I mean. That, that's what I'm trying to say. And if you don't, you know, fuck off. Uh, 333 is Good Loving by The Young Rascals. Number 332 is Baby Love by The Supremes. 30 songs in 4 minutes, gotta love this. 331 is Dancing Barefoot by Patti Smith Group. Number 330 is Fight the Power by Public Enemy. Fear of a Black Planet. I, I prefer the Blank Planet if you understand me. If people understand that, I, uh, yeah, I, I, um, if you understand that, I love you. That is what I'm trying to say. I, I really do love you. Number 300, 329 is Cord the Killer by Neil Young. 29 songs in 3 minutes, great. Uh, number 328 is Heartbreak by Led Zeppelin. Great unread song by a really popular band. Number 327 is Take Me Out by Franz Ferdinand. Indie band, really love the band. Take Me Out, one of the greatest songs. 326 is Schools Up by Alice Cooper. Really overrated art with, a, with an alright tune. Uh, number 325 is Many Rivers to Cross by Jimmy Cliff. Uh, number 324 is Wish We Were Here by Pink Floyd. One of the greatest rock songs ever, ever made. I'm really, really hyper right now. I'm gonna fucking drink energy. I'm gonna drink this energy and I'm gonna read 20 picks to you in two minutes. Pink Floyd, Wish You Were, one of the greatest songs ever made, is this low on the list. I'm gonna compare every song after this to this because Pink Floyd is one of the greatest bands that ever exists in this world. Number 322 is Elvis uh, Costello, Allison. It's shit compared to Pink Floyd. Number 322 is The Animals, Don't Let, Don't Let Me Be Misunderstood. The Animals are alright, but they're shit compared to Pink Floyd. Uh, Pink Floyd, Confident No, they're shit compared to Pink Floyd. <laughs> no, 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 but this is the song that I'm gonna compare every other song with because, you know, it, it is again Pink Floyd, Pink, Pink Floyd everywhere, I love Pink Floyd. I mean, Wish You Were and Comfortably No, this low on the list. I mean, fuck all, man, you gotta fuck all. 321, you gotta be kidding me. One of the greatest rock songs, one of the greatest rock solos ever made is 321. Rolling Stone, I hope you get every disease in the fucking book. And what is above it? Screaming Jay Hawkins, I put a spell on you. I mean, f a fucking 20s, 50s, you know, dated fucking song. Fuck off, man. Number 300, 319 is In Dreams by Roy Orbison. I mean, no, come on. Number 318, 18, I fucking have one minute left. Wake Up Little Seuss by the Everly Brothers. Number 317 is actually some heavy metal in here. Iron Man by Black Sabbath, that is great, but yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's actually is on point with Pink Floyd, I would say. It, it really is great. I love Black Sabbath. Number 316 is What's Love Got To Do With It by the overrated Tina Turner. Pink Floyd fucking destroys Tina Tur Turner's entire career with, with just one song. So that, that is just saying enough. Number 
315 is Lonely Teardrops by Jackie Wilson. Number 314 is The Teenagers. Why do, uh, why do uh, fools fall in love because they're fucking brain dead? Uh, Frankie, <laughs> Frankie Limb and the Teenage. That, that last part isn't uh, part of the title. You know, why, why, why do people get pregnant because they're normie as shit and, you know, they. Um, they don't want you know to live their life. They just want to you know have the most predictable life. But we're not going to talk about real life now. We're we're doing this list. I'm really fucking uh, hysterical right now. Number three hundred and thirteen is, but that is for the for the entertainment, right? And speaking of entertainment, that's entertainment by the Jam. Three hundred and thirteen. Number three hundred and twelve is say the say it la I'm black and I'm proud. Wow, uh, yeah, really great title, James Brown. James Brown, uh, I'm not black, but James Brown is, and he said that. Uh, yeah, I actually did it as well, but you know, I read it out loud. Number three, 311 with a little help from my friends uh, by the Beatles. Number 310 is Ruby Tuesday by the Rolling Stones. Never heard of the songs, but you know, Rolling Stones one of the most recognizable bands. Never heard of the songs, so there we are, 310. Number 309 is uh, Blue Eyes Crying in the Rain by Willie Nelson. Number 308 is uh, Die I Think I'm Sexy by Rod Stewart. Horrible artist, horrible title. Pink Floyd fucking destroys this as well. I mean, come on. 307 is One More Time with Daft Punk. Really love the song. Really love the entire discovery uh, record. Check it out, man. Uh, fuck. <coughs> fuck. Uh, yeah, it, it is a great record. Not fuck, but it is great. Uh, number 306 is Like a Prayer by Madonna, uh, you know, uh, Death Punk fucking rapes her. Yeah, um, uh, I, I think I'm gonna stop use the word rape because it is a really un uncomfortable word, so there we are. Not, not the smartest thing to do, the owners know it, but you know, I don't say the smartest things. That That is, uh, yeah, that is basically it. Uh, call, call me brain dead, call me retarded, but you know, I, I say those things and I'm not sure why. Speak before I uh, think before, yeah, I speak before I think, but think before you speak, that is what I mean. 305, One Way or Another by Blondie, a really annoying song. Uh, I, I do love Blondie, but you know, this song, I, it is just really overdone for me. Number 304 is Sign of the Times Prince, one of the greatest pop songs of all time, in my opinion, is this low on the list, fuck off, Rolling Stone. Number 303 is Hearts of Gold by Neil Young. Number 302 is uh, Get Up, Stand Up, Bob Marley in the Way. And 301 is, um, no, actually, uh, Street Fighting Man by The Rolling Stone. Number 300, uh, Black Dog, Let's Have Plane. Yeah, that, that is it, guys. Uh, probably did too many, but there we are, uh, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. Have a time in the morning. Bye. Bye.